Peace and blessings. Thank you for joining Tribe Bakurim on this daily prayer and Bible reading journey. We will read through the Bible using the one-year Bible reading plan and end in prayer. Today is August 13th, and we will be reading from Nehemiah chapter 5 verses 14 through 19, chapter 6 verses 1 through 19, and chapter 7 verses 1 through 73. 1 Corinthians chapter 8 verses 1 through 13, Psalm chapter 33 verses 1 through 11, and Proverbs chapter 21 verses 8 through 10. Let's begin. Nehemiah chapter 5 verses 14 through 19. Nehemiah's Generosity Moreover, from the time that I was appointed to be their governor in the land of Judah, from the twentieth year, even to the two and thirtieth year of Artaxerxes the king, that is, twelve years. I and my brothers have not eaten the bread of the governor, but the former governors who were before me were supported by the people, and took bread and wine from them, besides forty shekels of silver. Yes, even their servants ruled over the people, but I didn't do so because of the fear of God. Yes, also I continued in the work of this wall, Neither bought we land, and all my servants were gathered there to the work. Moreover, there were at my table, of the Jews and the rulers, one hundred fifty men, besides those who came to us from among the nations that were around us. Now that which was prepared for one day was one ox and six choice sheep. Also fowls were prepared for me, and once in ten days, store of all sorts of wine. Yet for all this, I didn't demand the bread of the governor, because the bondage was heavy on this people. Remember to me, my God, for good, all that I have done for this people. Nehemiah chapter 6 verses 1 through 19. Sanballat's Threats and Conspiracy Now it happened, when it was reported to Sanballat and Tobiah and to Geshem the Arabian, and to the rest of our enemies, that I had built the wall, and that there was no breach left therein, though even to that time I had not set up the doors in the gates, that Sanballat and Geshem sent to me, saying, Come, let us meet together in one of the villages in the plain of Ono. But they intended to harm me. I sent messengers to them, saying, I am doing a great work so that I can't come down. Why should the work cease while I leave it and come down to you? They sent to me four times after this sort, and I answered them the same way. Then Sanballat sent his servant to me the same way, the fifth time, with an open letter in his hand, in which was written, It is reported among the nations, and Gashmu says it, that you and the Jews intend to rebel. Because of that, you are building the wall. You would be their king, according to these words. You have also appointed prophets to preach of you at Jerusalem, saying, There is a king in Judah. Now it will be reported to the king according to these words. Come now, therefore, and let us take counsel together. Then I sent to him, saying, There are no such things done as you say, but you imagine them out of your own heart. For they all would have made us afraid, saying, Their hands will be weakened from the work that it is not done. But now, God, strengthen my hands. I went to the house of Shemaiah, the son of Deliah, the son of Mehetabel, who was shut in at his home. And he said, Let us meet together in the house of God within the temple, and let us shut the doors of the temple, for they will come to kill you. Yes, in the night will they come to kill you. I said, Should such a man as I flee? Who is there that, being such as I, would go into the temple to save his life. I will not go in. I discerned, and behold, God had not sent him, but he pronounced this prophecy against me. Tobiah and Sanballat had hired him. He hired so that I would be afraid, do so, and sin, and that they might have material for an evil report, that they might reproach me. Remember, my God, Tobiah and Sanballat, according to these their works, and also the prophetess Noadiah and the rest of the prophets that would have put me in fear. Completion of the Wall So the wall was finished in the twenty-fifth day of the month Elo, 
in 52 days. It happened when all our enemies heard of it, that all the nations that were about us feared and were much cast down in their own eyes, for they perceived that this work was worked of our God. Moreover, in those days the nobles of Judah sent many letters to Tobiah, and the letters of Tobiah came to them, for there were many in Judah sworn to him, because he was the son-in-law of Shechaniah, the son of Ara, and his son Jehohanan had taken the daughter of Meshulam, the son of Berechiah, as wife. Also they spoke of his good deeds before me, and reported my words to him. Tobiah sent letters to put me in fear. Nehemiah chapter 7 verses 1 through 73 Securing the city Now it happened, when the wall was built, and I had set up the doors, and the porters and the singers and the Levites were appointed, that I put my brother Hanani and Hananiah the governor of the castle in charge of Jerusalem. For he was a faithful man and feared God above many. I said to them, Don't let the gates of Jerusalem be opened until the sun is hot, and while they stand guard, let them shut the doors, and you bar them, and appoint watches of the inhabitants of Jerusalem, everyone in his watch, with everyone near his house. Census of First Returned Exiles Now the city was wide and large, but the people were few therein, and the houses were not built. My God put into my heart to gather together the nobles and the rulers and the people, that they might be reckoned by genealogy. I found the book of the genealogy of those who came up at the first, and I found written therein. These are the children of the province, who went up out of the captivity of those who had been carried away, whom Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had carried away, and who returned to Jerusalem and to Judah, everyone to his city, who came with Zerubbabel, Jeshua, Nehemiah, Azariah, Rehemiah, Nehemani, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mispireth, Begvi, Nehum, Baana, the number of the men of the people of Israel, the children of Parash, 2,172, the children of Shephatiah, 372, the children of Ara, 652, the children of Pehath Moab, of the children of Jeshua and Joab, 2,818, the children of Elam, 1,254, the children of Zatu, 845, the children of Zakai, 760, the children of Benuai, 648, the children of Bebai, 628, the children of Asgad, 2,322 The children of Adonikam 667 The children of Bigvi 2,067 The children of Aden 655 The children of Ader of Hezekiah 98 The children of Hashem 328 The children of Bezai 324 the children of Harib, 112. The children of Gibeon, 95. The men of Bethlehem and Natopha, 188. The men of Anathoth, 128. The men of Bethasmaveth, 42. The men of Kiriath Jerim, Kephira, and Beeroth, 743. The men of Ramah and Geba, 621. The men of Megmas, 122. The men of Bethel and Ai, 123. The men of the other Nebo, 52. The children of the other Elam, 1,254. The children of Haram, 320. The children of Jericho, 345 The children of Lod, Hadid, and Ono 721 The children of Senea 3930 The priests The priests 
the children of Judea, of the house of Jeshua, 973. The children of Emmer, 1,052. The children of Pasher, 1,247. The children of Haram, 1,017. The Levites. The Levites, the children of Jeshua, of Cadmiel, of the children of Hodiva, 74. The singers, the children of Asaph, 148. The porters, the children of Shalom, the children of Ader, the children of Talmon, the children of Akub, the children of Hatita, the children of Shobai, 138. The temple servants, the Nephanim, the children of Ziha, the children of Hasufa, the children of Tabaoth, the children of Keros, the children of Siah, the children of Padan, the children of Labana, the children of Hagaba, the children of Salmai, the children of Hanan, the children of Giddel, the children of Gehar. The children of Rhea, the children of Reason, the children of Nakoda, the children of Gazam, the children of Uzza, the children of Posia, the children of Besai, the children of Meunim, the children of Nephushism, the children of Bagbuk, the children of Hakufa, the children of Harher, the children of Baslith, the children of Mahida the children of Harsha, the children of Barkos, the children of Sisera, the children of Tima, the children of Neziah, the children of Hatipha. Descendants of Solomon's Servants The children of Solomon's Servants, the children of Sotai, the children of Sophereth, the children of Parida, the children of Jaela, the children of Darkon, the children of Giddel, the children of Shephatiah, the children of Hattel, the children of Pachareth Hazabaim, the children of Ammon. All the Nephinim and the children of Solomon's servants were 392. These were those who went up from Telmila, Telharsha, Kerub, Adon, and Emmer. But they could not show their father's houses, nor their seed whether they were of Israel, the children of Delea, the children of Tobiah, the children of Nakoda, 642. Priests who could not find their pedigree. Of the priests, the children of Hobeah, the children of Hakos, the children of Barzillai, who took a wife of the daughters of Barzillai the Gileadite, and was called after their name. These sought their register among those who were reckoned by genealogy, but it was not found. Therefore were they deemed polluted and put from the priesthood. The governor said to them that they should not eat of the most holy things until there stood up a priest with Urim and Thummim. Accounting of People and Offerings The whole assembly together was 42,360 besides their male servants and their female servants, of whom there were 7,337. And they had 245 singing men and singing women. Their horses were 736, their mules 245, their camels 435, their donkeys 6,720. Some from among the heads of fathers' houses gave to the work. The governor gave to the treasury 1,000 derricks of gold, 50 basins, and 530 priests' garments. Some of the heads of fathers' houses gave into the treasury of the work 20,000 derricks of gold and 2,200 minus of silver. That which the rest of the people gave was 20,000 derricks of gold and 2,000 minus of silver and 67 priests' garments. So the priests and the Levites and the porters, and the singers, and some of the people, and the Nethanim, and all Israel, lived in their cities. When the seventh month was come, 
the children of Israel were in their cities. 1 Corinthians chapter 8 verses 1 through 13 Now, concerning things sacrificed to idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffs up, but love builds up. But if anyone thinks that he knows anything, he doesn't yet know as he ought to know. But if anyone loves God, the same is known by him. Therefore, concerning the eating of things sacrificed to idols, we know that no idol is anything in the world, and that there is no other God but one. For though there are things that are called gods, whether in the heavens or on earth, as there are many gods and many lords, yet to us there is one God, the Father, of whom are all things, and we for him, and one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom are all things, and we live through him. However, that knowledge isn't in all men, but some, with consciousness of the idol until now, eat as of a thing sacrificed to an idol, and their conscience, being weak, is defiled. But food will not commend us to God, for neither if we don't eat are we the worse, nor if we eat are we the better. But be careful that by no means does this liberty of yours become a stumbling block to the weak. For if a man sees you who have knowledge sitting in an idol's temple, won't his conscience, if he is weak, be emboldened to eat things sacrificed to idols? And through your knowledge, he who is weak perishes, the brother for whose sake Christ died. Thus, sinning against the brothers and wounding their conscience when it is weak, you sin against Christ. Therefore, if food causes my brother to stumble, I will eat no meat forevermore, that I don't cause my brother to stumble. Psalm chapter 33 verses 1 through 11 Rejoice in Yahweh, you righteous. Praise is fitting for the upright. Give thanks to Yahweh with the lyre. Sing praises to him with the harp of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully with a shout of joy, for Yahweh's word is right. All his work is done in faithfulness. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the loving kindness of Yahweh. By Yahweh's word, the heavens were made, all their army by the breath of his mouth. He gathers the waters of the sea together as a heap. He lays up the deeps in storehouses. Let all the earth fear Yahweh. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke, and it was done. He commanded, and it stood firm. Yahweh brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He makes the thoughts of the peoples to be of no effect. The counsel of Yahweh stands fast forever. The thoughts of his heart to all generations. Proverbs chapter 21 verses 8 through 10 The way of the guilty is devious, but the conduct of the innocent is upright. It is better to dwell in the corner of the housetop than to share a house with a contentious woman. The soul of the wicked desires evil. His neighbor finds no mercy in his eyes. Lord, you are good and your mercies endure forever. You have loved us with an everlasting love that cannot be shaken. How thankful we are that you have created us in your image and called us into a covenant relationship with you. We recognize you in your power and ask your forgiveness for anything we have said, done, or thought that was unpleasing to you. Create in us clean hearts and renew right spirits within us. Bless us with knowledge, wisdom, understanding, maturity, discernment and focused minds. Take away any thoughts or feelings that are not in alignment with you. Open our eyes to the wonderful things of your law and make it an engrafted word in us. May we live lives according to your will. Denounce our sinful nature. Lay our sins at your feet and walk in obedience to you for your glory. Abba Father, the enemy has been successful at blinding many believers, making them unable to see the light of the gospels that display the glory of Christ. 
Remove spiritual blindness and deception from our lives and bless us with the mind and heart of Christ that we may not be fooled by strange winds of doctrine or false teachers. We present our bodies as living sacrifices to you and ask that you make us aware of your presence and what you are doing in the earth today. Cover us with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Keep our physical bodies, our nation, homes, modes of transportation, places of employment, bank accounts, credit and investments and communities safe from all hurt, harm and danger. Expose and obliterate anything that dares to come against your people. Bring complete and total healing to our minds, emotions, and bodies. May your perfect will be done in the earth. We pray this prayer over ourselves and everyone connected to us in the matchless name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. May the shalom peace of God follow you for the rest of your days.